as I said uh, before we started, I'm very grateful for your coming at so short a notice. Uh, I have a, a communicate to, uh, to give you. It's about visa application to my country. Uh, starting today, my country will cease processing visa application as other European countries and Schengen countries we stop processing visas to France starting today. So our provider, which is TT Service, has been ordered by the French authorities to stop processing visas until further notice. The first government communique says that we will stop giving visas to France for 30 days, which is a temporary measure. As I said, TTS will not accept any application, whether it is tourist, whether it is uh, diplomatic, long stay, etc. And whether it is for mainland France or for any French territory in the world, including, of course, the territories in the Pacific, which is New Call, Wallis and Futuna, and French Polynesia. We start today this very painful measure. You know, we in my country and in Europe in general are going through a very bad situation. In France alone, to make it rough, we have 8,000 cases of <coughs> COVID-19, almost 200 dead, and about 700 people in ICU right now, right now. With only one good news is that 5,000 people already got COVID-19 and recovered from it, which means that the very harsh measures the European governments and the French government among them are taking are able to bear fruits, to make life possible it is very complicated for all of us in my country, for all of us in Europe. Our lives are difficult, and I'm seeing that as my personal life, as my family, with two uh, mothers, mine and my wife, for example, which are all ladies and which are confined in caring homes or alone without the possibility to meet people, to meet carers, to meet doctors. I would add, like to add something concerning Fiji. The people who are living in France, including the Fijians, and you know there are many rugby players among other Fijians, but rugby players are incredibly popular in my country, are of course taken care of. The French health system is one of the best in the world and is totally fair to everybody who's living in France. There is no difference whether you are a French national or a Fijian or anything else. Anybody living in France will be taken care of exactly the same way. Of course, I do hope that the Fijian living in my country will not catch the virus. That's something we have to hope for everybody. But I also want to be precise about that. There is no fear of discrimination of any sort against anybody, whether he or she is a Fijian or any other kind of national. And the Fijian who are living in, Fr in France with a permit to live in France, who are allowed to live in France, are allowed to go back to France if they so wish, if they so wish, of course, as the French citizens. For example, myself, if I need to go back to my country for any reason, I am allowed to go back to France. It's the same for a Fijian who's living in France with a permit. Let's take a very well-known example of a rugby player. If a rugby player is in Fiji today, but he has a permit to live in France because he's playing in 
Toulouse or Paris or Lyon or Bordeaux, he will be able or she will be able to travel to France and to live in France as he or she used to live before the eruption of the COVID-19 uh, uh, virus. Here in Fiji, we are very fortunate and I would like you to take this seriously. As a foreigner, I'm grateful to the authorities and I commend the messaging and the, the measures taken by the authorities. The Fijians are well protected, partly by the distance, that's right, but also partly because the authorities took the right measures at the right moment and are sending the right message to everybody. I would like, as a foreigner, as a guest to your country, to make it clear that I'm very grateful to Prime Minister Honorable Baini Marama and his government about the measures they have taken regarding COVID-19. Other countries like mine are less fortunate. We're living in crowded areas with a lot of people traveling, a lot of people coming from outside and going outside. And we have been poorly, poorly hit. Like my president say, we are like in a state of war, not against any country, not against any army, but against an invisible <coughs> enemy. And we will prevail. It will take time. It will be sad at times. We know that. And we take very difficult measures, like that I just said five minutes ago. But we will prevail. And I will tell you as soon as we can, and I hope it will be soon, of course, the good news of life resuming as it was before, wishing as well that Fiji will be virus-free for as long as possible to everybody in Fiji. Okay. If you have some questions, I'm quite happy to answer your questions as well. <coughs>